Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a free piece of software called WSCC. It's an awesome bit of kit and it's going to be uh, very useful to technicians. Uh, so let's have a look where you can get it from. You can get it from this uh, website here kls-soft.com and uh, basically it's a Windows system control center and you can add in all your programs into this and run them i.e. sys internals and uh, Neurosoft uh, utilities and uh, what we're going to do here is uh, install this and I'll show you how it all works it's pretty straightforward but it's an awesome bit of kit and it is a portable or an installable version on the system all you need to do is come to the actual downloads here and you can actually download it from here they do some other software as well so let's uh, start anyway this is the actual program here all I've done is basically got this off the zip file unzipped it and dragged it onto my desktop this could be also on your pen drive or something like that so then what we're going to do here is click on this uh, executable file and you'll see that you get greeted with this message Windows Sys Internals um, and also we've got the Windows Utilities and uh, Neurosoft Utilities so I'm going to click OK here now you can set this up how you like really system tray and uh, icons or buttons uh, software list view details icons or report show hidden items so you basically go through the motions here and set up how you want and as you can see live URL it's already put in there for you so you don't have to worry about that and the path will be this here and I'm going to put Windows uh, services in there as well go to network here again pretty much um, include new software when it up uh, for updates and also you can use the 64-bit uh, version if available now you can uh, set this part here background color opacity and, and whatnot here you just by pulling the slider down and setting it up here I'm happy with that I'm going to click OK it's now going to do a quick scan on the system and as you can see it's found all these so what I'm going to do here now you can see the full list let's give us a massive list of uh, files so I'm going to click install download and inst install the selected items 262 new software and say yes to this now depending on how fast your internet is will determine how long it takes to download but most of these are very very small files indeed so basically you should if you're a technician you should recognize a lot of these tools uh, blue screen view and whatnot cure ports and so on now if you've not been using these as a technician then uh, you've been missing out so we'll just let these download and install now while downloading these and installing them as you can see it's actually uh, downloading these and then unzipping them and then installing them you may get flagged uh, on your antivirus program this is a false positive these are all safe to use uh, it's just the nature of some of these programs which makes it get flagged as a virus so bear in mind you may want to disable your antivirus program if you're doing that um, but these are safe and again as I said you can also run this as a portable application on your USB uh, thumb drive and uh, basically run it from there so you don't have to install it at all okay this is the installed version okay that's the uh, installation part nearly finished now just a few more okay so that's now all done so click OK here and once we've done that all we need to do is hit close okay so this is the actual application here now this is the actual control panel it's called and you can see that we've got all our 439 items inside here now that's a lot of programs in one little application that you can access now all you need to do here is look down the left hand side you've got favorites uh, folder which is where you can put your favorite programs that you use quite a lot which means you can get quick and easy access to them you've got a search facility which allows you to search for certain programs You've also got Sys Internal Suite, which is um, for your Sys Internals. And as you can see here, you've got um, Bypass Password, uh, Screen Logon, and also loads of other stuff here. Auto Run, um, I'm not going to go through them all. There is quite a lot of programs. Um, if you know what Sys Internals is, it's an awesome bit of kit. 
Now that's just one area that's looking at all them programs. Now if you wanted a specific area i.e. file and disk you just go to this location it will give you all the programs for that um, whether it be networking uh, or network you can come to here and uh, you can actually use the tools under network or process again pretty much self-explanatory really security and so on so that was the actual uh, sys internals part you've also got the actual neurosoft uh, area here which has got some awesome programs if you've never been to this website to look at some of these programs then you've been missing out because some of these have uh, been around for a while and they're awesome as you can see here app crash view this will actually show the actual app crash and what's happened and this is really useful for troubleshooting uh, programs and stuff like that um, you just click on these here and it will open up you've got an information tab here which will give you information about the application as well which is a real nice feature means you can just find out what it does and what it is okay gives you a link to the website as well so very very useful and it gives you all the command line options and switches and stuff like that so I'm not going to go through all these as you can see there is quite a lot but in general uh, just go through these at your own leisure and you'll see uh, password recovery tools um, ie password uh, pass view this will give you a password in, in an explorer and whatnot there's also root of passwords here uh, recovers passwords from uh, Microsoft Outlook and, and so on network passwords loads and loads of tools here I can go on about these all day but I'm not going to but as you can see here Windows side of things as well useful Windows parts here uh, stop and start services this will open up your service area very quickly as you can see much more faster resource monitor again you can open up this and it will open up your resource monitor very quick and simple in this one control panel so it's very very useful uh, change user account control settings again if you want quick access to it there you go as quick as that and uh, I'm pretty sure as a technician or any sort of uh, administrator this is going to really be useful for you okay anyway I'm starting to go on a little bit here now I'm going to end this video so I think that's about it and uh, I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and a rate and favorite my videos and if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet or Twitter then do so you can get the links in these videos down below and uh, I should be doing my best to make more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now